And you can see the first episode of Silks on Tuesday evening at 9 on BBC One. Uh, now time for our gadget roundup. Some things for the weekend. Our gadget guru today is Nicky Moore um, with sort of holiday type gadgets. But we've got, uh, we got three gadgets I really like today. They're in yeah, so holiday, all interesting. Yeah, half term holiday, just sort of good fun. The first one is uh, Zeal Optics GPS goggles. And these are um, GPS enabled goggles for skiing or snowboarding. And they have a built-in um, micro LCD screen, which hopefully we can see. It's just down here, if I point to it. Yeah, can you see that? It's like a little yeah, square like a little television screen. screen, isn't it? Yeah, so what that allows you to do is to have a, a full optical display when you're boarding, so different functions you can see on the screen. Now, we've got a little clip uh, which shows all the features. So it's got buttons at the side, so you can navigate through the different screens. You can check your speed when you're boarding or skiing. Vertical distance uh, if you're doing tricks got a full stopwatch and also a run counter so you can check your total distance throughout the day. Once you get home you can upload it to Google Maps, overlay your day, track your route, see where you've been um, and then you can share it with your friends and just basically monitor what you've done throughout the day. I think it's brilliant. The only thing I think, we were both talking about this before the show, is the monitor, is if you're looking, the monitor's down there somewhere so you yeah. have to look down. Yeah, it's to, not to ideal because if you're boarding you're going to I always assumed forward. it was going to be sort of beamed onto the inside of yeah. the glasses so you could sort of look at it whilst you were going along. We, yeah, that would be safer. But as it, as it is, like you say, the screen's down there. So if you've got your line of vision when you're boarding, you have to kind of glance down. If you're going quite quick or doing a trick, that isn't actually ideal. Nikki boards a lot, so she, yeah. she, she knows these and things. And also another thing, um, when you wear a helmet, these don't go with all helmets. So you need, if you want to go and buy them, you've got, yeah, and you've got to take your helmet with you to make sure that, you, that they fit. How, how much are these? These are four fifty, wow. which obviously is a lot for goggles. But they're going to come down in price now, aren't they? Now they're yeah. now they're there. They're going to yeah, come exactly. Down. Yeah, and they'll get smaller. They'll, they'll come be, down in price. Yeah. They'll be projected onto the, the lenses soon, I reckon. Yeah. Anyway, so they're uh, quite good. That's good. I like that. I like that. Okay. Lot. Next. Uh, I'm grab okay. This. this is another addition to the Nerf Blaster family. So great toy for half term for kids and obviously for men. So it has 10 darts in there, two spinning flywheels. We've got a, a target for you to try and have a go at. Okay. So you pull the trigger, it pushes the dart out, <laughs> Dirty Harry, pulls the dart out, and then the flywheel propels the dart out of the, of the barrel. And it's got, it's got quite a decent range, actually, but it's semi-automatic, so when you're pulling, that's it, it'll keep shooting them out. What a brilliant toy. But you have to actually manually load the darts, which is a bit of a pain, and uh, it, you need three triple, uh, AA batteries. Kids are so yeah. lucky these days. That's great fun though, isn't it, Parker? Oh, they have the best toys, all those computer games and, and all that stuff. that's around £15. Kids don't have to sit at the station waiting for the trains to come in these days, do they? How much is that? £15. £15. Okay. £15 you get all that? Yeah, it's quite good. Oh, I'm going to get someone. Right, so finally, the Uber Scoot. This is good fun as well. Okay, great. And also good for commuting as well, actually, and for whizzing around town. So it's an 800-watt electric scooter. It goes up to 21 miles an hour, which is actually quite nippy. Yeah, it We've is. got a clip of you earlier, um, and you can see how responsive it is. So you're going through the car park, and you go, if you go over the speed bumps as well, it's got front suspension, back suspension, and also front and rear disc brakes. Mm. So it is quite a good, um, good quality scooter. Um, but it is quite heavy, so it's 35 kilograms, which is around about five and a half stone. Yeah, so that, you can collapse that's, the th it. that's the thing with it. It's really yeah. heavy, so it's not like you can pop it in your bag and get on the tube and get no, off. No, well, it's stuff. meant to be portable, but you've got to bear yeah. in mind that it is quite heavy. And you can actually take the seat off, pull the lever, and it collapses down. So right. if you want to store it at home or in the office... You'll have to ride it stood up. No, well, that's I suppose, naughty. No. You can go on the road. Naughty, <laughs> naughty Tim. You naughty little you can, boy. You can go on the road with it, though. But naughty you to, Tim. <laughs> do as you're told. You, have, you can go on the road, but you have to register it with the DVLA. So you need to, and you should wear a helmet. And if you don't, it's naughty. Yes, it's naughty. naughty. Um, and it's also got a removable. Listen, it's got a removable battery. Tony's just as had well. a baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm a mum now. What do you expect? And you can uh, charge the battery, and um, and it's good, but it is quite heavy, and you know. Yeah. But it's good fun. How much is this? That is £750. Woo! So quite it's a lot of cash, right? But it's quite good. Right, thanks, Nikki, for more information on those gadgets. Email us for our website, bbc.co.uk, for us something for the weekend. <laughs> we'll email you back with the details. We're now